everyone. Oh, ooh, we need some lighting here. Welcome back to JPTV. There we go. Whew, it's really dark in my room. So today I just wanted to jump on here real quick. This is going to be a quick video. <clears throat> um, as some of you may know, if you've been following me, I have recently gotten into gaming and I've been playing a game called Phasmophobia on my gaming laptop. And I went to my son-in-law's uh, a few weeks ago and um, used his Oculus, which is a, if you don't know what it is, it's a virtual reality um, gaming equipment. And my life was forever changed. Like, I can't imagine playing Phasmophobia again without it. It is like you're live there in the house ghost hunting. It's just the coolest thing ever. So I thought I would just post this video of me unboxing my Oculus. I'm gonna go ahead and turn my screen. So we have, just a second, let me turn this. Sorry guys, I'm having some technical issues here with turning my camera, okay. All right, so here is my MetaQuest 2. I actually got it at Best Buy. It was $3.99 and this is the 128 gigabytes version. <clears throat> There's also 256, so if you are going to want to do a lot of stuff on it, I would recommend getting more gigabytes. But because I'm really only going to use it probably for playing, um, I'm going to actually set down my, my camera because I need to open it. Um, so I would recommend um, this one if you're only going to be using it for what I'm going to be using it for, which is... Um, for one particular game and for um, working out. So what I've heard is that um, when I went to Best Buy and met with the Oculus rep, he had mentioned that you could do workout videos and things like that. So I thought that would be super cool. So I'm going to go ahead and unbox it and check it out. Look how cool that is. Really, really pretty. It comes in this nice box. Um, again, it was $3.99, but I had to buy, buy a special adapter to connect this to my gaming laptop because I already have the game Phasmophobia. Uh, I bought it on my laptop and so <clears throat> I have to connect it. But otherwise you don't technically, if you have not bought a game yet, you can buy them on the actual Oculus and um, you won't need a computer to connect to it. So let's take this out. If you have not tried virtual reality and you play games, I'm going to recommend it. Like. I'm just taking the little things off. I don't know if I have to charge it first. So I'm actually going to look into that. My guess is I probably do have to. And so I'll go ahead and turn around my camera back to me. So yeah, so I'm going to be working on that today. And then what I'm going to start doing is I'm going to start filming me playing live. I thought that would be super cool. Um, starting, not necessarily with the VR, but starting on my laptop. Just so I get used to what it's like to film while playing and then eventually with my VR. So that's it guys, that's it for this video. Um, if you're new here, welcome. I hope you choose to subscribe. I do a lot of different things on here. I try to keep it as niche as possible. Um, so I do like, as you can see, because I do murder and makeup videos, it's just because I'm obsessed with either true crime or the supernatural because my other videos are all having to do with like ghost hunting and things like that. Um, those are my two like things that I'm obsessed with. So that's what my channel is all about. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye. All right, everybody, um, I'm back. So um, you just saw me unbox my Oculus. Now it's a couple days later and I wanna talk about my thoughts on it so far. Just kind of like a mini review. Um, so the first thing I want to say is um, it can be very fascinating when you first start it um, because it's like nothing you've ever experienced before. And I had a bunch of people at my house. I had, you know, my husband and my older kids. And so everybody was trying it out. Um, everybody was fascinated by it. And, you know, in the grand scheme of things, everybody's like, oh, I got to buy one. Um, although it's a family one, but you know, my uh, daughter and her husband don't live nearby, so they wouldn't be able to use it, you know, often enough. Um, but, so first I'm gonna go with the pros and then I'm gonna go with the cons. So the first thing I'm gonna say as far as the pros are concerned is it's just fun. It's fun to have something else, you know, to 
to look at and with it being virtual reality it is like something you will never experience like it is the coolest thing and some of the games and I've only looked at a few so far so just kind of going back to the purpose of why I bought the oculus is I bought it because I wanted to be able to play phasmophobia in VR and um, so that's where I'm going to talk about some of the cons because I, I did find some glitches okay so um, let me just put on my glasses so here's what I'm going to say um, the other pro is that the oculus has like I purposely got it so I could play my computer games on it but it does so much more like when I met with the oculus sales rep at Best Buy he told me the same thing he said look you can do so much with this thing like you can do workout videos on there and then obviously you have a um, store like you do like an app store on your you know iPhone or if you're a um, Android user you have Google Apps so there's like an app store on the oculus and you can purchase games and so there's so many cool things and there's also a lot of cool free games so a couple free games that I downloaded was um, it's like a roller coaster game um, so that's gonna lead me kind of into the the cons of the oculus is if you get motion sickness easy you're gonna struggle like I the older I'm getting the more motion sickness I get so before you purchase this I would recommend if you have a really weak stomach like I'll get nauseous but I'm not some someone who'll get sick I do know people that will like get sick so um, that's gonna be the first thing I'm gonna say is it's it's very overwhelming especially when you're playing moving games like the phasmophobia game that I'm playing and that's where I'm gonna venture into next you're walking through a haunted house and so it was getting me very very nauseous and I can only play for about 30 minutes without like really feeling bad and so um, that's what I'm gonna say about that but that really it, oh outside of that the other con was and some things you need to consider before you purchase an oculus if you are purchasing it so you can play your games on your from your PC in a virtual platform and my son-in-law had told me this he said find out if your laptop is compatible with the oculus okay and when I asked the guy at Best Buy he was like oh it doesn't matter like as long as you have a gaming laptop you're gonna be fine well he was wrong because it took me almost two days to get phasmophobia set up and it's not um, the best because my laptop meets the minimum requirements but not the recommended requirements and so there's a lot of glitches that go on throughout the game and I spent too much on the oculus at this point and I'm finding there's other things I can do with it. I'm really excited about trying workout videos, but I'm even afraid to do workouts because I'm afraid I'm gonna get nauseous. So um, my son-in-law did tell me that it is something that you get used to after a while, so maybe it's just because it's new. Um, but those are the few things, just having it for four days. So I'll do another review um, at 30 days, let you guys know how I'm feeling about it, especially because I'm gonna start playing my game a little bit more, Phasmophobia, so hopefully I get used to it and from what I understand is like the, the reason why it can be so um, hard to get used to at first is because in a virtual reality uh, the controls are a lot different than on a computer and until you learn the controls you're moving your head around a lot trying to figure out how to grab stuff and it that's what I think gets you nauseous is the movement so um, keep those things in mind but yeah we'll do a 30 day check-in on how I'm feeling about it but right now I'm, I'm feeling like it was a good purchase um, you know, definitely worth the money. Um, there's just super cool stuff on there. And if you're a gamer, you're going to love it. All right. Thanks so much for coming. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.